Ari uh, is someone who describes in many ways as a lawyer, a multi-sport athlete, and a member of the board of directors of the Calgary Marathon Society, AKA Calgary Run, and importantly, as a former degenerate. I can probably join in that, all right. But without uh, further ado, I'd like to introduce Ari. The author, William Least Heat Moon. On the old highway maps of America, the main routes were red and the back roads blue. And in those brevities, just before dawn and a little after dusk, the pull of the blue highway is strongest. When the open road is a beckoning, a strangeness, a place where a man can lose himself or find himself. In three weeks' time, just before dawn, I and a team of five other runners will emerge from an RV at the Santa Monica Pier and begin the speed project. The goal, get to, get to the Las Vegas sign as fast as you can. On foot, no rules. Why? It's complicated. <laughs> Terminal velocity, 1984. Father, foothills, fuck cancer. Estranged mom and stepdad do the evac. Escape capsule, red Camaro. Destination, LA. Me crammed into the back seat, witnessing life change in that slice of space and time as dramatically as the landscape. Event Horizon 2018, The Speed Project, The Beckoning, The Pull of the Blue Highway, a line from my favorite film, Magnolia. You may be through with the past, but the past isn't through with you. And the past says, why don't you come down early, take a good look at the course, and yourself. Dad, you charming, flawed, sweet capro, filter king size son of a gun, no degree of separation between you, your rum and coke, and the Perry Mutual window at the racetrack. The only bartender I've ever known to have his name on a bar's marquee, kind of like Sammy Davis Jr. on the Sands Hotel. And Mum, your calendar girl, the first female bar manager in the province, a stinging comeback for every guy's come on. The two of you, binary stars for 15 years, or was it 15 rounds? How you went the distance is beyond me. The judges called it a draw. You got the kids. She got her sanity. Six years later, and it's a beautiful day in the San Fernando Valley with new parents out of the north and highs expected around 420, right after track practice. Forecast remains the same for the next year and a half. Strange days, but at the end of it, you're light years away from that final foot foothills goodbye. And you're through with the past, right? Eternal return, LA smog lifts and the nuclear family is back in Calgary. At 16, he's bussing tables. At 20, he's tending bar. At 21, he's at the warehouse club, frozen to the wall, contemplating the loss of his first love, while the LSD takes its maiden frolic in his brain like the droogs in Clockwork Orange. Accretion. At 25, he begins a seven-year residency at various bars on First Street, the final chapter of which takes place in this basement, or what it used to be. The only similarity being the fact he and the other bartenders made their own special tea in the coffee maker after last call and the after hours and the coke and the pizza until super giant. Aristotle Serantis, you fat fuck. <laughs> 205 pounds of LSD, THC, and KFC. One chicken wing away from acquiring your own orbit. I'm stage right, by the way, Bobby's just big bone. <laughs> but just like that, supernova. 50 pounds of adipose tissue ejected into the cosmos. He and his team will get from LA to Vegas in a day and a half, averaging 40 minute 10Ks. And I hear David Byrne, you may find yourself in another part of the world and you may ask yourself, well, how did I get here? What atomic collisions knocked him off his father's trajectory? A single line from his mother in 1991? Sweetheart, the money's good, but at some point you gotta get out. Did that small pocket of knowledge wend its way into some deep fissure in his mind, just like the LSD that very same year? Paradigm shift. They say free will is an illusion. In this universe, we're not self-gods, we're not prime movers, able to intervene in the natural world and skirt the laws of cause and effect. But we're not fatalists either, feckless exceptions strapped into our cars and fixed to the tracks, careering toward a single end despite our screams. Our choices do matter, 
but every choice is fully caused. Sweetheart, you gotta get out. We're stuck in a cosmic causal web. Sam Harris, when you make an effort to change yourself, the only tools at your disposal are those that you have inherited from the past, and the past isn't through with you. Convergence and recognition, a thousand miles from home, and we are both, once again, alone. Jacqueline Pope, gone abroad with her ambition, she sees him with the key to a mildewed hotel room, where he shrugs on anonymity, shaves new angles on his face, and edges into the drift of a West Coast afternoon. Now he's in his favorite city, framed by his favorite hotel. Both of them, proud, totemic, destined for demolition. A month after the divorce, and it's all over his face. Don Patterson, I drain the purely offertory glass that tastes of nothing but silence, burnt dust on the valves, and whiskey. Into Death Valley now, Dad, you and I. It starts to get tough here, but we'll be okay, one foot after the other. John Cady, who cares if life is finally insignificant and small? There's still a splendor in the way it flowers once and fades and leaves a carapace behind. And from the dust comes life. The afterlife, if you will. But it's the one you recognize here, in this world, the only world we'll ever know. Here is a good man, stable at his core. And he's loved her upwards of 40 years, tucking her into bed every night as the COPD and the heart failure become visible in the constellation. The last climb before the descent into Vegas. I met a woman on this road one week ago today, a Chicago designer. She moved to the desert 20 years ago and won't ever go back. The city puts up filters, she said. And when I came out here, one by one they fell away. And I could hear myself again, the pull of the blue highway. And here we are, the end of the road. Funny, you took your way, I took mine. But we both arrived at the same place. And though I never could have seen this in advance, Looking west, it all makes sense. The cosmic tumblers aligned. I can see right through to the coast. And I can tell you, Dad, we're doing fine. Thank you.